Hey guys, how's it going today? Um, so I wanted to do a favorite fall eyeshadows um, video and that's what I'm going to do today for you. Um, got a few from a couple different brands. Most of them are MAC um, just because I have mostly MAC shadows. Um, so I'll just jump right in. So the first one I'm going to show is um, by MAC. It's in the color Star Violet. It's this one here. So it's really kind of like a nice, um, almost red toned purple, purpley brown, I guess. I would put this one kind of on more of the purple side than the brown side. Um, it's really pretty though. And actually I have this on my lids today, so don't mind me, but I will get closer kind of to show you. You can see that there. Um, I put it over a Ruben S paint pot today, so it's not coming off as purple on me. It's coming off more of like a reddish bronze color, almost like a copper, which um, I don't mind. So anyways, that's that. I'm not going to do um, any swatches, I don't think, in the actual video. What I'll do is I'll swatch them later on, and um, I'll take a picture and put it at the end of the video. So that way you can kind of compare them together, see it in like the regular lighting, and they're not going to be kind of like, I don't know, bad swatches. I'm really bad at swatching on camera. So anyway, moving on, um, the next one is um, Mythical by MAC. And this one's kind of like a true copper. Actually, it's coming up. That's more of the natural color there. So, yeah. It is a true copper color. Um, it's not as red or as orange as I'd say coppering is from MAC. But I don't own that one, so I can't compare them for you. But that is mythical there. And I don't think this one was limited edition, but... I'm not 100% sure. Any kind of nice copper tone like this would be really great for fall though. Um, and actually, this is it compared to Star Violet, which is this one here. You can see how Star Violet is much, much more of like a purpley kind of color. But like I said, I'll do kind of comparison swatches at the end of the video for you. Um, so next one I'm gonna show you is actually a new one I've just picked up. Um, it'll be in a MAC haul that's probably going to be posted on Friday, maybe tomorrow. Um, we'll see it because I want to do my October favorites too. So it'll either be my next video or the video after that. So I know I've kind of like bombarded you with hauls lately. Um, anywho, so this one is Sketch from MAC. And you can see it's really kind of like a nice dark purple, a very like rich dark purple. Um, this is actually slowly becoming one of my favorite eyeshadows ever, I think. Love, love, love it. So that is that one there. Um, next one I'll show you is a matte color. I think it's a matte at least, might be a satin. Um, this is Hoax. Ho, Hoax, I don't know how to say that. But it's a really nice kind of crease color from MAC there. You can see all the eyeshadows I'm showing you kind of have like a warm undertone to them. Um, that's kind of what I tend to go for in the fall. But this one's a really, really nice crease color. It's not too dark, but it does definitely warm up your eye. So love that one. And next one is Texture by MAC. Now, this one does look really orangey on me, at least at the moment, because I am very, very pale. Um, if you have a darker skin tone than mine, this one should be perfect on you. I know a lot of people tend to use this kind of in the crease, as they would soft brown or cork, anything like that. On me, though, I have to be careful, unless I kind of want the orangey look. Um, but I thought for fall, you know, fall orange, whatnot, I thought that, that is a really good one for fall. Um, so that's that. The next shot I will show you is um, another favorite of mine. I don't necessarily wear this one as much, so it's not a favorite in that sense, but I love, love, love the color. So it's Max Club. And actually I have a top five favorite neutrals eyeshadow video that I did like, I don't know, almost two years ago. And this was one of the ones that I included in that. This one's a really, really kind of unique color. Um, I know a lot of companies have tried to kind of dupe this one lately. I know Wet n Wild has something similar in a palette. 
Um, so you could pick that up if you don't want to invest in that one or if you just want to kind of try the color. However, um, I love it. I recommend it. It has a really nice finish to it. It applies really nicely. It's almost like, um, it's definitely like a dark green with, a dark metallic green with um, kind of reddish brown undertones to it. I don't know. It's hard to describe. But if you ever go in a Mac store, I recommend at least checking it out. So that one's nice. And this one is actually a new one as well. Um, this is Sumptuous Olive by MAC. So this one I haven't had a chance to um, play with as much as I would like to. I've only worn it once. However, um, I thought being that fall leaves and whatnot, it was just a really nice kind of like, I don't want to say dirty green, but it's, it's like a muted green color. Um, very like earthy, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Not dirty, that was bad. Um, and it's, it's really nice, so anyone with um, blue or green eyes, this would look great on. Actually more so green, obviously, than the blue. Or even brown eyes, that would look really nice on. So this is the last MAC shadow. Actually, no, no it's not. This is second last MAC shadow I'm going to show you. This is a recent one that just came out from MAC. It's called Beluga. So I'll show you the name. This one is limited edition. Um, it came out, I'd say, about a month to two months ago. However, the color Cobra by Urban Decay is an exact dupe for this. Um, I actually have Cobra. It came out in one of the uh, Book of Shadows palettes from Urban Decay. Uh, and I was going to show you that one instead of this one because it's literally an exact dupe and it's permanent from them. However, it's just much easier to hold this up. <laughs> Um, so that's that one there. This one's like a very, it's a dark black with almost a green undertone and green shimmers to it. It's a super, super pretty color. Really nice for the crease. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it as an all over lid color. It's a little too dark for me, I think. But as a crease color, beautiful. Actually would look really, really pretty. This might be what I do from my it's tomorrow with the sumptuous olive which is this one here and then that is max beluga but again um cobra by urban decay exact dupe debatably even applies a little bit better and blends better so i would pick up the cobra from urban decay okay so the very last matte shadow i have to show is actually one that i have in a palette but it's permanent so this is max sable let me see the best way to show this here it is the one in the very middle right there. This one's very, very popular and actually was probably one of the first eyeshadows I ever purchased from MAC. Um, not this one here, I had it in like a single pan form. However, when I got this palette a few years ago, I didn't want two of the same eyeshadow, so I ended up giving the pan to my mom to use. But um, one of the first eyeshadows I ever purchased, such a beautiful fall color, such a beautiful color anytime I would say. Um, just really nice as a crease color. I even like to kind of wear it on my lids as like a smoky eye sometimes depending on what what I'm doing. So that's the last one from MAC. Um, two more to show you. I wanted to do 10 eyeshadows but I actually ended up picking 12. So you know it is what it is. Anyway so this is NARS Galapagos. I don't know why I forgot that. This I just showed in the haul video I posted yesterday, my um, big Sephora haul I posted. So again, I haven't had this one for that long. I've only had it for, I don't know, three, three or so weeks. Um, I'm going to hold it up again because it's so pretty. The lighting isn't as good today as it was yesterday, so if you really want the gold sparkles to kind of catch on camera, I would check out my Sephora haul that I posted yesterday. I will link it down below. Um, but this is such a beautiful color. I think this all year round is a beautiful color, but I just, I've been loving the warm browns for fall and with the gold sparkles to it, it's just so, so pretty. And this one applies so nice too. So definitely, definitely recommend um, NARS eyeshadows. This is my first one I got and I'm loving it. And Galapagos is just so pretty. Okay, so the very last shadow that I wanted to show you is by Urban Decay, and this is probably my very favorite fall color. 
I wear this all year round. I think it's a really, really great summer color too because it looks better on me, I think, when I have more of a tan. Like I said, I'm very, very fair. However, um, I do tan really well in the summertime. I'm Polish, so that kind of is probably... Anyone else out there is Polish, probably got the same problem. Um, and it's Baked by Urban Decay. So that is Baked right there. This is the um, Get Baked palette. I don't think that this is available anymore, but the color itself is permanent, and they usually release it in a lot of different um, palettes that they put out. Like the Book of Shadows always has one. The one Book of Shadows I have actually has Baked in it. So um, this is just a lot easier to show. It's much smaller. So... Baked is just so beautiful. It's the one on the very end there. Half Baked, which is this one here, is really pretty as well if you don't want to go kind of as in your face gold. This one's more of like a yellow gold, I would say, Half Baked, whereas um, just Baked is like in your face, orangey, kind of 24 karat gold. I would compare it to Amber Lights from MAC. I don't own Amber Lights, but I've seen it used in a ton of tutorials. I've checked it out before, and it's very, very similar, which is why I haven't bought it. So, anywho, actually, you know what? I forgot, I forgot a shadow. So, all right, last one, I promise, and it is a MAC one. And this one was, I know for sure, limited edition. It's Glamour Check by MAC. I was debating to even show you the limited edition ones I have, but I feel like now that there's so many different eyeshadow brands out there and it's not just MAC, 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 like there's Urban Decay, there's, you know, NARS, there's so many good eyeshadows out there. Even from the drugstore, Wet n Wild makes some really good eyeshadows. I feel like it's so easy to dupe this. So anyways, this is Glamour Check by MAC. It came out with the Star Flash collection. It's like a very reddish brown. Um, it's very similar actually to Antiqued by MAC. Um, so if you want the look of Glamour Check but you don't have it, I know a lot of you do have it which is why I decided to show it, but if you want the look of Glamour Check and you can't get it, I would check out Antiqued by MAC and it's pretty similar. So that is that one there. Um, also one of my probably top three favorites for fall. So anyways, that is that. I promise that's all of them, all 12. Um, and yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow either with probably my October favorites I'm going to do. Um, if not, it'll be my MAC haul. So please leave me a comment. Tell me what is your favorite eyeshadow for fall. doesn't matter if it's drugstore, high-end, MAC, anything. Just let me know, and I will maybe check it out. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.